Welcome. Welcome back to CBS This Morning. I'm Tony DeCopo with Gail King and Anthony Mason. And we're going to begin with this, a new investigation raising serious questions about some safety claims made by the maker of a popular car booster seat for children. Disturbing video obtained by ProPublica shows a child-sized dummy being violently tossed around during a crash test. That booster seat is currently on the market, and we're getting an exclusive first look at ProPublica's investigation. It found that one manufacturer marketed its booster seats for children who experts worry may be too small to be adequately protected in crashes. Chris Van Cleve has been following all of this. Chris, good morning. So what do parents need to know? Well, good morning. Now, there's almost universal agreement that small kids are safest in a car seat in the back. We want to be very clear about that. But safety advocates would tell you, keep your kid in the harnessed car seat like this one until they grow out of it. This one is for kids up to 65 pounds. Then move them into a booster seat like this one, even though this says it's good for 40 pounds and up. The boosters lift the kids up so the seat belt fits a bit like it would for an adult. This booster seat, by the way, says it's good for kids 30 pounds and up. And notice that side impact tested sign. We're going to show you that crash test. It's something that the seat maker just doesn't want you to see. Jillian Brown was a five-year-old in constant motion. She was about to start kindergarten in 2016 when her world changed. Her parents, Jay and Lindsay. And the first thing I did was look back to, to see, um, to check on the girls. Lindsay was driving her two daughters, Jillian and Samantha, to daycare when they were hit on the driver's side near their Long Island home. Jillian was hunched over. Um, I couldn't see her face. I know that they took her out first. They had her laid out on the trunk, um, and they were doing CPR. Jillian was the furthest from the impact strapped into her Evenflow Big Kid booster seat. While Samantha, in a different car seat, and Lindsay recovered from their injuries, Jillian never will. She was internally decapitated, left paralyzed from the neck down. A ventilator now keeps her alive. How has life changed from that day to today? Completely, yeah. Every day's now. Ready? You want to do quick math? You don't have Karen for her. The Browns are now suing Evenflow, but the company says her booster performed as designed, and Jillian's injuries were primarily due to the severity of the crash and/or driver error. Her car seat meets or exceeds federal standards and was side impact crash tested, but there's no federal standard for that test, and videos of Evenflow's crash tests obtained by ProPublica show booster seats passing, even though the child-sized test dummy is tossed about like a rag doll. I think the word that I used to describe them initially was horrific. Human beings just aren't built to survive that amount of movement. We showed the videos to Dr. Ben Hoffman, a lead author of car seat recommendations for the American Academy of Pediatrics. Would you want your child in a seat that performed like that? No, and there's no way I would want a child who I know or knew or loved to be put into a scenario like that. A car seat with a harness fares better in the crash test. The test dummy largely stays in place. In the booster seat, the dummy slips out of the seat belt shoulder restraint. During depositions obtained by ProPublica, Evenflow employees explained the only way to fail the company's crash test is if the dummy falls completely out of the seat or if the seat itself breaks. One saying, we side impact test our seats, but I don't think we say that we offer any type of side impact protection. Engineer Eric Dolly acknowledges the movement seen in the crash tests could lead to serious injuries. In I mean, you could have a contact with something in the vehicle, another occupant. So injuries like paralyzing injuries, death, serious injury? Serious injury. For years, the Academy of Pediatrics has recommended kids stay in a car seat with harness restraints for as long as possible and should not switch to a booster seat until at least 40 pounds, matching Canadian regulations. Until 2007, Evenflow marketed the big kid booster as safe for kids as young as one as long as they weighed 30 pounds or more. Four years before Jillian's 2016 accident, Dolly recommended Evenflow stop selling booster seats for children under 40 pounds because they'd be safer in seats with harnesses. This Dolly, who still works for Evenflow, later testified he supported the decision to stick with the 30-pound minimum. Jillian weighed just under 37 pounds. ProPublica's Daniela Porat. Evenflow touted its side impact test uh, as something that was rigorous and used the side impact testing marketing to sell its big kid booster. The test was anything but rigorous. 
Just months before Jillian's accident, even Flow did change the height and weight requirements in the owner's manual, yeah. but did not notify oh, customers like the Browns already using the seats because the company says there was no safety impact with that change. And years later, the company's old standard is still out there. In January, ProPublica bought a big kid booster from Evenflow's own website, with 30 pounds still on the label. Just this week, we found signage at an Oregon Walmart saying the seats were for kids 30 pounds and up. I would never have bought that if I'd known. I would have left them in the front-facing five-point harness for years. You know, you read it and you believe it. Evenflo declined our request for an on-camera interview, but said in a statement, the company is a pioneer in side impact testing and it provides safe, effective, and affordable products, adding it complies with all federal regulations, which do allow booster seats to be sold for kids weighing 30 pounds and up. Congress has been asking federal regulators to create a side impact crash test standard for car seats since at least 2000. That standard is yet to go into effect. You can read ProPublica's entire in-depth investigation online now at cbsnews.com. That is a very eye-opening report. I mean, yeah. even Flo can say they're a pioneer in side impact testing, but if there's no standard for what the test is, yes. what does it really mean? Right. And other car seat makers are doing testing, too. We just don't know what those results are. And really, at the, the bottom line, safety experts say is keep the kid in the boosters in, in that in that harness, harness as long, as, long possible. as possible. And yeah. focus not on I think about age when I think about car seats, but in fact, it sounds like weight, weight. is what you got to pay attention yeah. to. Weight and age, absolutely. I, I keep thinking about the video you showed of the little girl doing the cartwheels. Yes. And now that she's on the ventilator, that's tough. She turns nine uh, this month. She's in third grade. She? Goes How to school she? every day. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Remarkable girl. Yeah. Thank you. All right, thanks, Thank you, Chris, Chris Van Cleve.